What is good YouTube and in this video I'm going to discuss the best hop jumper package you can get in my career right now. It's the Kyle Lowry hop jumper package. I'm going to show you how to activate his different sets of step back jumpers which depending on the situation you want to find the most appropriate one. And then I'm going to discuss with you some of the best combos you can combo with the Kyle Lowry step back jumper package and some tips on how to set your step back jumpers up in order to increase your momentum and increase the effectiveness in which you use this move. In my opinion, after Devin Booker, this step back jumper creates the most amount of space out of all the step back jumper packages out there. And let's start with the first one, the pound dribble to step back jumper. So to activate this, you want to angle your body a little bit towards the basket. So hold the left stick towards the basket, hold R2, and hold the right stick down. So that pound dribble creates that change of pace momentum move. So when you're moving forward, you can use it against your defender as they're moving backwards, initiate that pound dribble, and that initiates a nice change of pace momentum move. So this is a move that you want to use when you get your defender committing to moving backwards and cutting off your drive. With Kyle Lowry step back jumpers, because the windup takes some time, the setup is equally important, so make sure you use your defender's momentum against them. Alright, the next Kyle Lowry step back jumper is the Kyle Lowry wide step back jumper. I call this wide because of the gather step that you get out of the step back. It's a little bit of a wider angle and creates much more space. So while moving across the basket, hold R2 and hold the right stick down. Again, the angle in which you launch will determine the kind of step back jumper that you get when holding R2 and pressing the right stick down. So whether you're moving left or right, just take a look at how much space that this creates, the distance you generate out of that step back jumper, and it's a great way to catch your defenders off guard. So here we set up the escape jumper by initiating a moving crossover, getting our defender moving laterally and backwards, and just look at all the space and the distance that that created. The last move I want to show is the behind the back escape dribble into a step back jumper, and this one is so elite just because of the speed in which you change directions. So here while moving across the basket, you want to hold R2 and hold the right stick down and away from your ball hand. So that's either down into the left or down into the right away from your ball hand. So think of this as adding a nice snatch back or nice momentum breaking dribble move into your step back jumper. Once you get your defenders to commit going to a certain direction, that behind the back dribble is so quick. And if you get the timing down, that is an elite move that is as close to unguardable in NBA 2K23. So for a lot of my step back jumpers, I like to set these up using change of pace moves such as hesitation dribbles, some nice moving crossovers, and I'll show you a little later on some, some of the techniques that I'd like to use to set these up. And really, the best way to maximize the effectiveness of step back jumpers is to build momentum. And what I'm using here is the attack hezi which I discussed in a previous video, link in the description below. So this is a perfect example of a moving dribble move that builds momentum, creates speed, and really bridges really well into that step back jumper using that speed to launch us a little bit further, a little bit faster, and therefore making the step back jumper that much more effective. So comboing with moving dribble moves creates that additional momentum that you will need in order to really decimate your defender on the move. So again, the golden rule in setting up escape jumpers, escape dribbles, or your different types of counter moves is to use your defender's momentum against them and then see which step back jumper is appropriate for where your defender is going. So the other moving dribble move that I think combos well with the step back jumper is really a moving crossover. So whether it's your moving forward crossover between the legs crossover or behind the back crossover, you want to use the momentum you build out of that move and combo into your step back jumper. For Kyle Lowry specifically, the moving forward crossover is the move that I like to use to snake around pick and rolls and use that momentum from that crossover to launch us into a step back jumper. You can also do this from a stationary position, just combo with your different signature size up moves, launch into a crossover, and then combo that into a step back jumper. And if you made it this far, this is the part where, you know, I open the bag a little bit, give you a little insight into some of my secrets in creating, you know, shots on the move. And my first and most essential tip for creating escape jumpers on the move is to cancel out of your moving crossovers and combo that into your escape jumpers. So that move happened so fast so you might have missed it but what I did was after this attack hesitation I initiated a moving crossover right there and then comboed that into a step back jumper to turn the crossover into an in and out bound dribble to a step back jumper. 
All right, so breaking this down again, we launch out of a step over launch, initiate an attack hesitation, tap the right stick towards our non-ball hand. As you can see right there, we're initiating the moving crossover animation, but then I hold R2 and hold the right stick down immediately to cancel that moving crossover into that wide step back jumper. So let's use the attack hesitation to snatch dribble animation and show you how we can combo that into a escape jumper cancel. So this is what it looks like when it's not canceled and everything is comboed together. But this is what it looks like when you cancel that snatch dribble and combo directly into a step back jumper. I mean, just take a look at this. After the attack hesitation, we'll take two extra dribbles because we cancel the snatch dribble crossover directly into a step back jumper. And look at the momentum that that creates. So the snatch dribble move will create confusion. Get your defender thinking whether you're going to stop, whether you're going to cross, and then you hit them with an escape jumper to attack them when they least expect it. This combos well even with the Zach Levine moving hesitation move. We use that move to springboard us into an escape jumper. Use the momentum out of the move as you can see here. Quickly cancel that hesitation directly into a step back jumper. This is what this move normally looks like if you don't cancel out of that Zach Levine attack hesitation. As you can see right there, you'll stop and then get into a weak step back jumper. So that's it. The best step back jumper you can get in my career right now and in my team Kyle Lowry is going to be my, my point guard for the immediate future just because I love shot creation. I love his defense. The step back jumper package is elite. So I hope you added some sauce to your game after this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for all your support. Have a good weekend. Peace.